everybody welcome back to vlogmas it is day five i actually had to check the date on my phone then so um it's monday monday evening i've just bit my lip and it's bleeding that's inconvenient <laughs> um yeah but it's about eight o'clock and i haven't filmed anything till now because um, I've been at home all day and my husband works from home and obviously with the nature of his job um, he works in the defence industry <laughs> um, we don't want to be doing any YouTube filming with him in the background at work <laughs> but I thought I would call in and give you a quick update on um, I've been doing some sewing today so I've got my Ilford jacket to show you um, and then amongst other sort of life admin i've been to see the chiropractor this morning um i've been really struggling with kind of a, a sore neck and a sore lower back um and basically he said that i'm just incredibly tense <laughs> so he um did the whole manipulation thing where they get your head and and pop it out and um it's been really effective so yeah that was money well spent <laughs> um and yeah, then I've been doing a lot of sewing and I've just been to Tesco for our weekly shop. So that's generally what I do on Monday is life admin, get caught up on appointments and groceries, <laughs> nothing exciting. So this is the Ilford so far. Um, you can see we've got a collar on, um, the cuffs are on but don't have buttonholes, plackets are all sewn and this afternoon I've just attached some patch pockets um the <laughs> i'm gonna make some flaps for the top of the patch pockets but that's when i stopped today because um my machine was having a paddy over the buttonholes and i thought i was gonna throw it out of the window so i figured that was the time <laughs> to stop um but yeah i'm gonna put the flaps on there um the pattern match on the pockets is slightly coincidental I didn't cut them with the idea of pattern matching in particular I actually wanted them to not match um, so that they would actually stand out but when I put them in for you know sort of pin them on to check the placement they were too wide so really they have ended up being kind of semi-matched um, that one in particular that one less so but it still sits in the right place um, but the flaps I've cut the flaps on the bias just to try and have a bit of difference but yeah so we've just got those pocket flaps to finish off and buttons to put on um but both myself and my sewing machine need to be in a better mood to do that um so i've been saving today's countdown calendar um we'll open that now um <laughs> please don't get it wrong i think we should be up to we opened 21 yesterday, didn't we? So I had the little embroidery on, yeah. So 20 today. Uh, and it's got an iron. Very apt for the amount of ironing that went on in my project this afternoon. And let's see. <laughs> oh, yes. That could not be any more me, could it? made with love and coffee <laughs> yes i like that one Could i would probably buy a whole box of that if that was available um so that's the countdown calendar done um and then i thought it was a bit of a um, a bit of a change from usual because i'm at home and this is obviously a bit more personal i thought i might show you what's in my basket so <laughs> this is my basket um if you haven't followed along for a while or you don't know me that well i'm actually as much into knitting as i am sewing so obviously bearing in mind that this is a sewing channel and that is my job i'm not going to overtake with that but i just thought whilst we were here you might like to see what i've got in my work basket at the moment um and i am really really bad for not finishing things and for stashing loads of wool so I think since I stopped being able to buy fabric sort of as a customer and and got the shop I kind of pushed that desire to shop onto buying wool <laughs> um, but I like knitting garments um, I'm primarily a garment knitter um, so I've got this cardigan which is almost done <laughs> and um, there's a common theme here with me isn't there 
you can see it's just got that little cable design running down the front and all it needs is the second button band knitting and the button sewing on and then that's done it's in this lovely sort of mossy green shade it's an iron weight and it's got a plain back um, if you want any of the pattern details if you're a knitter just let me know and I'll pop them in the comments and then I have <laughs> it's like a confessional this I have the body of a Christmas jumper or a Christmas cardigan um, this is um, a really lovely 100% wool called Cascade 220 um, and I've had it in my stash for years and I decided last Christmas I wanted to knit it into a very Christmassy cardigan but obviously because it's a sport weight it takes forever so earlier this year I knit the body and it took me ages um, and I got to the underarm and then you need to go on and knit the sleeves so at the moment I'm working on the sleeves oh I've lost a ball of wool <laughs> and you can see it's got this lovely fair isle design on the bottom I love colour work so I'm just sort of working through that at the moment but there is absolutely no chance that this will be done for Christmas um, I set myself like a cut off time I thought I'll start working on this um, at the start of November I'll pick it back up do the sleeves finish it off and that is as far as I've got <laughs> so there's no way that I'm going to finish that sleeve do a second sleeve do the rest of the York no it's, it's just not going to happen I just don't get the time like I used to do I used to be knitting all the time so like if the kids were having a nap that kind of thing but now I'm in the shop all the time it's just not a possibility um oh and I haven't worked on this one for a long time <laughs> <laughs> it's nice though. Um, this is a scarf, um, but it's massive, it's huge. Um, you can see how wide that is. So it's a bit rumpled because it's been in the basket for so long. But you can see it's just plain uh, garter stitch with a lovely cable design running around it and, and this nice teal colour. Um, it's a style craft yarn, this. Um, it'll be an acrylic, but I can't remember what, ex what exact, mm. what's the word, <laughs> model it is, <laughs> that's the one. Um, but yeah, I went into um, a shop called Black Sheep at Warrington. If you've ever been to Ikea Warrington, it's very close to there. Um, it used to be quite handy for me when I was living in Preston. Um, I lived there for eight years. Um, and yeah, I would always like a trip to Black Sheep if we were going up to Ikea. Um, and I got this a couple of years ago. I went in and there was a sample on the mannequin and I was like, wow, I want that. I want to knit it. And then I think this is maybe two balls of wool knit up and there's like six to do. So yeah, I think I got a bit bored and moved on. But it's always there if I fancy picking it up. <laughs> so there you go. Um, there's a little introduction to my knitting basket and because we've got our Christmas tree up now we've also got some really old things that I've knitted years and years ago we've got Santa and the snowman and yep the kids are always trying to steal these and the cat always likes to pinch the snowman's hat so there you go um <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that slight detour um I'm back to work in the morning I've got a really busy day tomorrow planned I've got all the weekend's orders to send out um I've resisted the temptation to go to work today because um, if I'm not careful I can end up being there almost seven days a week and that's not healthy <laughs> so um, yeah I managed to stay at home today and not go down to the shop so that's always a win in my book um, but I will see you tomorrow have a lovely evening bye bye